ready for this? Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Donna Sports Show, brought to you by my great friends and, of course, my sponsors like Max Golden Pheasants, Great Food and Bar near North Avenue and Route 83. Steve Mack is the owner. Go in there and see Steve. Pyramid Sports Bar and Pizza, Pool, 25 Tables, and Great Food Specials, Mugs and Manners, home of 38 Great Beers, and Broasted Chicken. How about Intrend? Uh, they do work for Com Edison. Now, you, you may not, you know, have any dealings with them, but if you see Intrend, wave to, the, wave to those trucks, okay? Uh, Loretta and Danny Rosemeyer are the owners of that company. How about Addison Park District? Uh, give them a call, uh, pick up a brochure, a lot of things for you to do. Shoeless Joe's, yeah, Shoeless Joe's Ale House and Grill. Right on Lake Street. Man, oh man, great food and great atmosphere. Auto Advantage on uh, uh, Lake Street in Addison, 885 Lake. Go in there and get your car fixed. Primerica Insurance, my nephew Mike Figarelli will help you with all your investment needs. And uh, a new uh, guy that's going to be with us, Hustle Muscle, Anthony D. Uh, We're going to talk to him right now. All right, folks, uh, we'll be right back. Hi, everybody. The Donna Sports here. Let me tell you about a new sponsor for me. Shoeless Joe's Ale House and Grill, 1480 West Lake Street in Addison, Illinois. And the phone number is 847-773-9147. Dine in and carry out. Now, I'm not going to list all the things that they have, but what I'm going to do for you is uh, when you look at the menu, it'll go like this. Lead off hitters, okay? Shoeless Wings. Five wings, uh, seven ninety nine. Twelve wings, thirteen ninety nine. Homemade soup and chili. Field of Dreams salad. Bases loaded pizza. <laughs> Create your own pizza. Papa Joe's pasta. Wow, marinara, vodka pasta, all kinds of uh, pasta. Uh, ground rules. Crosstown classics. All American burgers. This is off of the menu now. Uh, a league of their own. And then there's listed a couple of burgers under all-star sandwiches and wraps, Hall of Fame paninis, bench players, $3, house specials, chicken entree, Joe's Pesci, and extra innings. Shoeless Joe's, get over there and uh, enjoy yourself. The place is great. Take care now. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hello, Tom. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm all right, buddy. Oh, you're poor Packers. You know, they couldn't do it. Well, I'm, okay, I just want to tell you, I'm sitting here at Drayton College. Uh-huh. And talking to a young lady, Colleen. Wow. Hi, Colleen. She said, hi, Colleen. And, and uh, <laughs> you know, uh, just uh, going over a few things of charity and stuff like that. Yeah, with the Kiwanis, Tom, or is this... Uh... Oh, yeah, with everything. She's oh. involved in everything. Is that right? Okay. Oh, yeah, you ought to come to some of the Triton things. they got a great Triton dinner. I ought to invite you sometime. Well, all right, yeah. Tell her to put me on a mailing list or something. Okay. Will you? Right. Now, who do you think is going to win the game Sunday? Well, uh, well, yeah, in two weeks' time, I'd say, well, you know what? I'm pulling for the Falcons, you know, Atlanta. Right. But, but and they're a three-point underdog. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people are too. I am too. Uh, yeah, I you know I mean I know I like Brady though. I like the Patriots, but come on, you know, let's give right. somebody. <laughs> well, but uh, to be honest with you though, Tom, I think uh, the score is going to be like twenty-eight to twenty-one. That's what I'm pre- in favor of Patriots. Although I'll be pulling for the Atlanta. But while yeah. I while I got you on the line though. And then who's your friend there? Who are you talking to? Uh, Colleen. Oh, Colleen. Colleen. All right. Rockefeller. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, Tommy, and I want you to give me a prediction, and the one who's closest, you know, uh, to the uh, score, score will okay. win a, will win a T-shirt. Okay. Now, what do you, what do you predict the store uh, the score to be? Just the score, not who's going to win. Right. Just the score. Okay. I'm going to say. Uh, Thirty-four twenty-eight. Yeah, well, oh well, well, no, no, all right, no, no. 
I, I guess I gotta get a, I gotta get a team, you know. Pa- Patriots thirty, you know what I mean? I, <laughs> I'm gonna say thirty-four twenty-eight at, at uh, Atlanta. Oh, all right. So thirty-four twenty-eight Atlanta. All right, I got you on that. Now to ask Colleen if she wants to make a prediction. Yeah, Colleen, why don't you make a prediction? What do you like? I know. Well, you know how these women are with Tom Brady. A <laughs> good-looking guy, yeah. Yeah, good-looking guy, yeah. <laughs> so, the, yeah, yeah. So she she likes New England, but pick a score. Like, yeah, just it'll give probably me, be near fifty. All right, so let's say thirty-eight to twenty-four. New England. Okay, thirty-eight. She's almost I, like you. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but I, although I am pulling so for the So she wins a free trip to Berwyn or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Berwyn? <laughs> no, I know. I'm teasing. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right, Tommy, uh, listen, just a quick uh, a quick on what's going on at Kiwanis, and then I'll let you go. Okay, well, we've had a successful uh, peanut day. What, what I'm doing now is I have a young man who, who makes uh, puppets. And we go to the little kids in the library and places like that, and he puts on a show for them. Really? Yeah. Is it, that it nice? Is really, it is really nice because it's creative. It's imaginative. You know, you want to have kids thinking about different things, and, and uh, uh, you know, it, it's just something nice. Yeah, I bet it is, Tom. Uh, is he going to do anything at Triton? Well, no, you said more for kids, right? Right, right, y- right. Yeah, so he wouldn't be doing anything at the college there, I, I, right. I, I wouldn't think, but... Uh, uh, what about your uh, the uh, event that you you do with the little tr- cars or automatic cars or well, something? Well, yes, that we're going to start again probably in April. Mm, okay, and yeah. and then of course the golf outing. Uh, uh, the golf outing will be there at River Grove again. Yeah, all right, that's about the same time. Right, it'll be the the uh, I think it's the third. Or f- it's. The fourth Sunday in September, uh, fourth Friday in September. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's later on. We got time for that. Yeah. There'll be a lot okay. of things coming up. All right, Tom, thanks an awful lot. Okay, and, take uh, care. We'll keep in touch. All right, folks. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is Don Figarelli, the Don of Sports. I want to tell you about the British Swim School is the survival of the littlest. Yes, the littlest child from three months on can learn to be safe when swimming. Rita Goldberg, founder and CEO, has developed a unique and highly effective teaching method of water safety, survival, and swimming lessons. The mission is to protect every life from drowning through education and highlighted water safety awareness. Having good adult supervision, teaching kids to swim, and parents learning first aid CPR skills will be the best measure any parent can take to keep their kids safe around water, says Nick McDaniel, British Swim School aquatics instructor and franchise owner. For information about British Swim School, Visit BritishSwimSchool.com or call Angelica Monroy at 630-833-8145. Let me give you that again. 630-833-8145. Hi, everybody. Uh, Don Figarelli here, the Don of Sports, talking about Max Golden Pheasant. Wow, a fixture in Elmhurst for many, many years. Located in Elmhurst, of course, near Route 83 and North Avenue on the south side of the street. Now, uh, you know, it's kind of a combination sports bar, beautiful restaurant. Uh, Steve Mack, what a what a great guy. He went to York High School, a great baseball player. He's the owner. His dad owned it, and I believe his dad, grandpa, owned it also. Uh, food is terrific. You, you walk in, and it's a ter- nice circular bar right there with not giant screen TVs, but nice TVs all around the bar. Uh, and there's always... 
uh, some people around the bar, friendly people, combination, some young guys, some older guys, some young ladies, some older, you know, uh, at the bar as you first walk in. But then you go in the back uh, where the, the restaurant is, terrific, big fireplace, nice tablecloth, uh, could look out on the back yard uh, like it's a, oh, a little atrium back there, some flowers and trees. could look out that window if you'd like. Uh, and uh, the service is terrific. The food is great. They have a special every day, uh, and the food is great. They, uh, they, they, the waiters, the servers are, are terrific people and uh, reasonable prices, but, but great food and a, and a great bar. So uh, do me a favor and get in to see Steve at Max Golden Festival in Elmhurst. Uh, do yourself a favor. Uh, take care now. Y'all ready for this? Hi everybody. Uh, welcome back. On the line with me now is Jeff Trusco, uh, my bowling colleague and uh, expert on uh, Cubs, White Sox, bowling. Hello Jeff. Hello. How are you buddy? Okay today. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jeff, uh, Fill us in now. What happened uh, last week with our great team? Well, I'd like to preface that. All right. Uh, because um, uh, the first two months of the season, we were floundering mm -hmm. uh, just about every week. And uh, for the first, um, uh, what is it, the first 11 weeks, yeah. we had a total, our record was uh, 140, uh, 148 p uh, points won and 182 Losses. Oh boy! So that's thirty-four under five hundred. Yeah. But ever since December first, uh, when uh, Pete Spino had a uh, six seventy-six, I believe it was, we started to click mm -hmm. because over the last eight weeks we have turned it around tremendously. Mm. Where um, uh, our record is uh, for the last eight weeks is 175 won and 65 lost. Wow, that's more like it. Yeah, it is more like it. And we are, like I said uh, several years ago, when we um, started uh, at a 30-point system, I noticed uh, the teams who finished in first place after every quarter, they were averaging uh, about 22 points out of 30 for a week. Yeah, well, listen, Jeff. finish in first place. Yeah, wait, hold on now. For the guys, people listening, sometimes the point system, you know, uh, they didn't have that maybe 30 years or 20, but the more more leagues are doing that. Explain that to the folks, will you? Okay. How you get your points. Right. A 30-point system. There are three games and the series. Uh, uh, each game is worth four points for mm -hmm. 12, and then the series is worth three points, and that makes a total of 15. Yeah. The other 15 points are... Uh, match play points where uh, bowlers in position number one on each team bowl against each other and that includes their game with handicap and so every bowler is bowling for three points mm. one point per game so that's uh, five bowlers that's 15 points plus 15 is 30 so uh, if you average as I say winning 22 points per week you don't have to win 26 28 points uh, mm -hmm. uh, Obviously, that doesn't happen very often, but um, right. uh, if you average winning 22, that should be good enough to finish in first place for each quarter and get yourself a position in the uh, playoffs. Mm -hmm. Now, for the last eight weeks, we have been averaging slightly under 22. Oh. And mm -hmm. I noticed that the first quarter winners, knuckle deep, they only averaged 18 points. Really? Yes. And they still took first. They still took first place. Mm -hmm. And uh, the second quarter first place finishers were Smegheads, and they averaged 20.7. Wow. So uh -huh. right now, as I say, we are averaging 21.8 yeah. for the last eight weeks, and we're still not in first place, but we're halfway through the third quarter, mm -hmm. and uh, we are behind. We are in third place behind... Um, Knuckle Deep and uh, Smegheads, I I'm sorry, Knuckle Deep and uh, uh, Chicago Spence. Yeah. Because uh, Chicago Spence has been hot all season long, but when it comes down to the position round at the end of each quarter, they kind of fall apart. <laughs> and well, yeah. they, they got really taken a couple weeks ago by one of the lesser teams in the league, Spare Parts. Uh, spare Parts 
took 27 points out of 30 from them. Wow. And it was just a real off night for Chicago Spence and a real hot night for spare parts. Yeah. Well, you know, that system, Jeff, don't you think it kind of helps the teams that are a little weaker, perhaps, in, in a sense that, well, maybe they can at least get a couple of points, uh, some money back, if even if they lose all three games, let's say, uh, if if their match points uh, aren't too bad, at least they come away with something. Do you think that's the reason for that? Yes, I do, because uh, that was the argument um, brought forward by uh, some members uh, some years ago. They says, "Well, we we don't have a good team, and we're not gonna uh, we're here basically for fun, and we don't expect to win because there are other much stronger teams. But we want to win at least something. Mm-hmm. So if uh, like uh, for most of the time." Uh, bowling uh, competitively was a seven-point system, two yeah. points per game and one point for series. Now, yeah. if you're losing all three games, right. then you're getting nothing. <laughs> Whereas the prize money is based on so much per point. Yeah. And uh, if if you got the two or three individuals that do beat their opponents, uh, they could still lose the game, but at least they're going to get something back. Yeah, a few bucks, per, uh, depending on what the prize is for each point. Sure. You know, it could be seven dollars, six dollars, whatever. Okay, that's good. Uh, all right, now what happened oh, okay. uh, to us? I, I'd like to go back uh, just uh, about a few weeks ago when we were bowling against the Misfits. <laughs> uh, we we had to spot them seven marks, which is approximately seventy pins, oh, boy. because they had that uh, much uh, higher average than we did. Yeah. And in the first game, we were trailing by seven marks going into the 10th frame. So we mm. didn't accomplish anything for nine frames. However, our leadoff lady, uh, Janie Shrilla, had a strike working in the ninth. She got the first one in the 10th. Uh, unfortunately, Matt had a turkey going into the 10th, but he got a horrible railroad in the 10th for an open frame. Mm. And A.J. Anthony Sturt, who is new on our team this year and a wonderful addition, we have never had somebody of his caliber on our team before. Yeah, that's right. And uh, uh, A.J. had a strike working in the ninth. He turkeys out in the tenth frame for 226. Wow. And our great anchorman, Pete Spino, turkeys out in the tenth frame for 227. <laughs> we pulled that game out by a mere four pins. <laughs> we have had some exciting games, Don. Yeah. This was one of them. <laughs> and, then the, and then the second game, uh, Gene had a 201, Matt a 223, AJ started with a four bagger. He winds up with a 242. Oh boy! Pete Spino, he has a turkey early in the game, and then he runs off uh, six uh, consecutive strikes for a big 256. <laughs> we win that game by 115 pins. Wow! So that made it. Uh, uh, not so close, I mean, because close games are nail biters. Yeah. And there was no doubt about this one. And then <laughs> the third game, we uh, wound up winning by 69 pins, taking 25 points that night. Wow. So that uh, is uh, obviously the way to go. Now, two weeks later, which was two weeks ago, yeah. again, we spotted our opponents uh, who are known as eight nuts and a hole. <laughs> We spotted them four marks, and we were uh, we beat them the first game by 66 pins, mm. thanks to a 204 by Gene, a 211. Oh, I, I myself had a 211, uh-huh. and uh, AJ was bowling anchor that week. He put together a five bagger in the middle, started with a double, ended with a double in ten frame, winding up with a 244 game. We win that game by 66 pins. Yeah. Now the second game was quite interesting. We tied them in the third frame. We were trailing by four mm. for the next two or three frames. Mm-hmm. Then we tied them at the end of the eight. We tied them at the end of the ninth. Wow. And then in the tenth frame, uh, let's see, I, you got a couple of marks in the tenth frame. I had a strike working in the ninth. I doubled in the tenth for a 201. And A.J. put together, wait, let me count them up here, nine <laughs> strikes in a row, <laughs> winds up with a 267. We pulled that game out by 22 pins. Wow. It was exciting. And then uh, the third game, Matt Quaranta, 220. A.J. Sturt, again, starts with six strikes in a row, winds up with a 235. We were trailing 
by three marks going into the tenth frame, and, and uh, uh, Jeannie had doubled in a tenth. You had doubled in a tenth. We wind up uh, winning that game by nine tenths. Wow. These are exciting games. Yeah, you know, Jeff, uh, they were staying with us. By that I mean, right, the, you know, they were... We didn't swamp them all at that, you know, at that point, and I think they were bowling well over their averages. Do you not agree? Let's see. That was uh, eight nuts. Uh, yeah. They uh, well. Sure, they because it, it, I couldn't really why we couldn't get ahead with all the strikes we were throwing, but if they were staying with us. In other words, almost matching us strike for strike, almost. Yeah, we were trailing that game by as many as. Um, Seven marks at the end of the fifth frame. Wow, and that's 70 we were, pins. We were Right, and we were trailing, like I said, by three marks going into the tenth. Uh-huh. And Angelo uh, Scala had a wonderful series. He had games of 224, 212, 211. He was way over his average each <laughs> game, that's winding, a... winding up with a 647 series. Wow. Now, last week, again, our, uh, we bowled against spare parts. By, by virtue of what they did against Chicago Spence a couple of weeks ago, they had a taste of first place. Yeah. Well, we uh, we took care of that. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't there for for long. <laughs> we had to spot them six marks, and here was another exciting game. We were uh, we beat them by 106 pins the first game. Wow. Thanks to Anthony Sturt's 235, Pete Spino's 226. The second game, we were trailing by, uh, uh, or rather, we were ahead by three marks going into the 10th frame. We wound up winning that one by 70 pins. Wow. And we needed every one of the pins that A.J. got. He had a 225 game, ending that game with five strikes in a row. Pete Spino had seven strikes in a row, winding up with a huge 258. Wow. We win that game by 70. Now comes the third game. Uh Uh-huh. Unfortunately, we uh, got uh, uh, stepped on uh, a crack in a sidewalk or something. We uh, we had a five-mark lead going into the 10th frame. That's unusual. The other guys uh, did not let up, and uh, they were led by uh, uh, Mark with a 212 third game in a 593 series we however had three open frames in the 10th frame oh, and that really hurt yeah we were five marks up going in and we wound up losing that by only 14 pins mm. so these things are going to happen that's it's, yeah I well mean, but at least we won 20 points or so right we yes we won 20 mm. and um uh the week before that against the uh, eight uh, nuts we won 22 so uh, it's going to happen. You know, as well as you're doing, you hate to take a, a tough loss, but there are pitcher, major league pitchers who have pitched a no-hitter and still lost the game. <laughs> yeah, right, that's true. It, it happens, you know. It does. Uh, all right, Jeff, we're going to change gears a little bit. Thanks for that report. Now I'll see you tomorrow night, of course. And uh, give me a fast, pre- let's change gears a little bit about the Super Bowl, Okay. I need a prediction from you on what the score is going to be. And the closest person to it will win a T-shirt. Aha. Just no. uh, you want a, a score or the winning team as well? Well, uh, you know, you ha- yeah, well, what the, what the score is going to be the winning team, what you say, whatever score you tell me. Uh, you know, if you pick the Falcons to win, then that you you know, and they win, you'll if you're closest to the score, you'll uh, you'll win. Okay, uh, based on I usually stick for the underdog, mm-hmm. and uh, the Falcons are the underdog. Yes, they are. And New England has been there so many times. I think this is their ninth Super Bowl. <laughs> Probably, appearance. yeah, I think so. You know, and uh, they've had tremendous success over the years, whereas this is only the second time that Atlanta is uh, appearing in the Super Bowl. Uh, I'm going to choose Atlanta. Wow. And All I'm right. going to, because I, I really want them to win. Yeah, I know. I do, too. I mean, <laughs> you know, going back to baseball when, when I was a kid, it was always the Yankees in first place, always <laughs> the Yankees. The White Sox couldn't beat them for anything. <laughs> you know, and it, it got monotonous. Oh, yeah. come on. <laughs> so 
Let me let me think about a score. I'm going to say uh, thirty to twenty-four in favor of the Fal- Atlanta. Yeah. All right. So thirty for Fog. I'm writing it down, and twenty-four for the New England Patriots. Sure. All right. Well, if that happens, you'll have a chance to win a T-shirt. Okay. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Hey, thanks an awful lot, and let's keep in touch. I'll see you at bowling. We're halfway through the third quarter. We're doing fine. We're in contention. Let's keep it going. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, John. All right, folks, a a new sponsor for us here uh, on this great show that we do, John DeVita's Broadcast Center. Uh, It's the UPS store number 6353 in Addison. You know, it's right across from the Marcus Theater there, and it's right next to Panera Bread. Uh, They pack and ship any size item you have. Wow, any side, doesn't matter. And get it there when you need it. They offer mailbox service for anyone who needs privacy and convenience. They offer printing services for any print job. Get this, business cards, posters, canvas, vinyl signs, they do it all. They offer freight services for those oversized items, you know, such as furniture or art or even auto parts. And uh, and they even can ship your pet if you'd like. Now, that's the UPS store, and uh, the owner is Brad Markovich, a a great guy. Uh, They're located at 1600 West Lake Street in the great town of Addison, and here they're open from 8 a.m., of course. you got to get stuff going 8 to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, Saturday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and, of course, closed on Sunday. Their phone number is 630-438-6441. Give Brad Markovic a call. Stop in for all your UPS needs. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. On, welcome back. And the line with you now is my good friend, Mike Sandrolini. Hello, Mike. Hey, Don. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, Mike. Uh, I know you're... With the independent, but the Addison, that's only one part of the system. Is that not right? Right. Uh, Mike? Yeah, there's, uh, there's uh, two or three papers that, in addition to Addison, there's uh, Bensonville Independent, and then uh-huh. they have one. Uh, obviously, the Elmhurst Independent is another one. Uh-huh. But and, it's uh, under and the... And um- also have one in Villa Park. Okay. But it's under the umbrella of uh, Beacon News or something? No. What, what's, uh, you know, what is the parent... Uh, the the no, the, uh, the uh, company is Rock Valley Publishing. Oh, and yeah. that's uh, Peter P. Kruger's uh, owns owns the paper. Oh yeah, Rock Valley. Yes. Oh, that's it. Okay, I yep. get you. Yeah. Now, uh, where, where are you working on right now, Mike? Uh, you got some articles going, or where are you? Uh, not not necessarily at mm. this point. I'm, I I uh, also do some um, still have my hand into some freelance work. Oh, okay. Uh, I do a little bit uh, of sports writing for the uh, Buell newspapers uh-huh. and also um, the West Suburban Journal, which is published out of Westchester. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. good for you. Well, I know you've been around sports and athletes for a long time, uh, Mike, before we get to the Super Bowl and stuff like that. But let me ask you this, just being a, around athletes that made big money or make big whatever, why, why would Dwayne Wade say, well, I, I'm going to opt out of my contract because if, unless the team improves. He's getting, like, they give him $20 million or something. I know, yeah, so wh- exactly. Why, I, why would the guy say something like that? I, I think I, from what I heard, um, I didn't hear all of the interview. Mm-hmm. Um, he's He wants to, uh, I guess he's, he's on the tail, obviously he's on the tail end of his career. Yeah. Uh, he uh, wants to probably play for a winner. Uh, the Bulls aren't anywhere near close to being a winner. Well, it's so uh, funny. Sometimes they look good, sometimes they don't. It's I, a, I don't know. Um, it, it's hard It's hard to uh, say with him. Um, I mean, if you wanted to play for, uh, I, I'm sure that the money has something to do with it. Uh-huh. Uh, the Bulls gave him a good contract. Yeah. Uh, and, let, and no matter what they say, Money plays a prominent role into it, uh-huh, um, uh-huh. but I mean, if does he, he wants to go play, if he wants to go play for a winner, he could have done that over, over during the offseason and signed with yeah Cleveland or whoever for two million dollars a year. But obviously, well, 
would you rather make twenty three million dollars a year or two? <laughs> yeah, I mean there must be something there. I, I mean, uh, wh- why would you give up that much money just to say I want to be on a winning team? Well, I, I, yeah. I mean, I, I guess we all want to win at some point, you know. But sure. uh, they're they're professionals. At, they're playing to make money. Wouldn't you think he would say, "Well, why would I give up twenty two million for two? Does he have yeah. that well, that, I mean, that much he, pride he, or something? What you know what I if mean? If he ends up doing that, I guess more power to him. Yeah, because there's a lot of a lot of athletes out, out there. No matter what they say, they wouldn't give up that that much money <laughs> on yeah. the table. And yeah. uh, uh, another thing that speaking of Dwayne Wade, one thing that's always bothered me, I guess. Uh, I, I see, well, and I understand that he's been injured quite a bit during his career and whatever, and he's getting and he's on the downside of his career. Yeah. But there's been more than one time this year where he's taken the, if they, if they have back-to-back games, he's taken the uh, the second game of those back-to-back games off completely. Yeah. They don't play him. They just want, they want, they want to rest him. Uh-huh. Going, oh, you know what? I think, um, I understand that these uh, athletes today are investments, and and um, you don't want to have them injured. Nonetheless, I didn't never saw Michael Michael Jordan take. It would be unheard of for Michael Jordan to take a uh, the, the second game of a back to back game. Yeah, two two games in a row. It'd be unheard of. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Yeah, and, well, and then that, if, that just bothers me. I don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean if he's. Why, you know, if he wants to win, wants to win, wants the team to get better to win, why would you take a night off? Yeah, I mean, why, why would you want to be out there on the court helping your team? Yeah, right. Yeah, you uh, know. The whole thing is just, uh, I don't know anymore. I, I, um, I, unless an age. Jimmy, uh, of course, Jimmy Butler is, is substantially younger than Dwayne Wade, but he's out there every night busting his butt. Yeah. So, right. I don't know. Yeah, that, that's a strange uh uh, why he would make that comment and say, well, yeah. I want to leave you guys unless we start winning, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, well, I got there must be something more in there than what we're, you know, right. what's not coming out, Mike, you know what I mean? Right. The agent must be in there somehow, he's, right? He's got an agent, and, and I'm sure he said, well, you know, uh, Dwayne, if you move to this team, uh, you it's a contender. Now the agent makes <laughs> Now he's going to make a commission on the new contract that right. <laughs> that Wade would yeah, get. Yeah, exactly. Better stay in the Dwayne, or else I'm not going to get the money. Yeah, right, right. All right, Mike. Uh, let's switch gears a little bit to the Super Bowl, okay? And uh, it, it's t- well, you were a Packer fan. I don't know. I can't remember now. No, uh, no, no, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm okay. a Bears fan, and and m- must admit that uh, yeah, it brought it brought me. Um, Smile, smile to my face when, when the Packers lost. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, Much yeah, as I, you know, yeah. I know. Although and you know what though, Mike, and, and I'm sure you probably have been. Although I, I, I went up to Lambeau, I went up to Green Bay, and uh-huh. and and to see the the stadium. Ha, have you yep. have you been up there? You must. I've be. never been close to Green Bay in my life. Okay, well, I mean, like I say, I, I didn't do that specifically. But my right. son, my son had a trade show going on, mm-hmm. right at Lambeau Field there, you know, in the in the concourse. So uh, he said, "Why don't you come with me, Dad?" I said, yeah, yeah, I'd like to maybe see Lambeau Field anyway, you know. Uh-huh. But it, it's really unique, Mike, you know, in the right. sen- in the sense that it's in the middle of a town, not Chicago downtown Chicago. You know what I mean? It's right. a, it's like in the middle of Berwyn or something. And, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, isn't, like, isn't Green Bay? Isn't it like between hundred thousand and two hundred thousand population? Yeah, that's about all. Yeah, and, and and I mean, Mike, everywhere you go, and I mean almost everywhere, you know, a gas station, a, a restaurant. Yeah, a no, I. Yeah, I mean, it's I a. That's the only, it's the only team in town, and they really get into it. Yeah, yeah that's what I mean. It's like yeah. there's nothing else, you know. Uh, well, there's so nothing they, else, basically. Yeah, right. You know, uh, uh, maybe some minor league teams, you know. Yeah. Where, Hockey and uh, uh, and uh, perhaps baseball, but but it's really unique just to see how and the garbage cans in the <laughs> oh, you know, right. the garbage cans are green and oh, gold. Geez. That's bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised, I'm surprised the uh, after the World Series victory, the Chicago Cubs don't get uh, stuff like that. Yeah, 
Oh, man, if you get a chance, you know, I mean, uh, it's just something unique, you know. Well, the, the, another tie that I kind of have with it, you know, Mike, is that my, uh, Ray Nitschke, who grew up in the same town I did. Right. And, and I knew Ray. I knew him when he was 13, 14. Well, I knew him, you know, because we, we kicked around together. So he went up to, you know what I mean? So right. he went up there. I kind of followed his career, you know. So... That basically is another reason I kind of, well, have a little interest in, in the Packers because, oh, of, sure. because of Ray Nitschke. But anyway, okay, Ray, uh, Mike, let's switch off now. Uh, i got to get a prediction from you on the score, and the mm-hmm. uh, closest one to it is going to win a T-shirt. So okay. uh, what, what do you figure is going to go on with the Super Bowl? Well, I think well, you were, you're looking for a score? Yeah. Um, I think... Uh, New England prevails twenty-seven to twenty-one. Okay, now let me ask: Are you are you pulling for New England or no? I, I don't I don't care who wins. To tell you the truth, not even Atlanta to see uh, like a little bit of an underdog no. come through. Mm, you know they haven't been there. I mean, yeah, I mean that's always nice. I know there's a lot of sentiment out there um, that that uh, certain percentage of people want to see New England get beat. Mm-hmm. Because we've been on top for so long, I understand that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I don't have a, I don't have a disdain for New England at all. I mean, I wish the, I wish yeah. the uh, Bears would uh, go and try to interview a few of their scouts and and, and, and bring <laughs> yeah. them over here. Right? How they, they can certainly use for your uh, influx of ta- uh, talent on that in a for your a house hall. Yeah, yeah, you're right there. It's got to make a difference. The general manager, Mike, like the, with the Cubs, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, or you know, just just what, what I was saying uh, with regard to uh, being able to evaluate talent and scouting. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. just um, you know, it's it, it's kind of thing where um, it seems that New England has had uh, look at your successful franchises over the over the past few years. Obviously, they're doing something right along those lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, 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 of course, the players have to perform, but yeah. you gotta, you got to get the players that uh, excel in certain in their yep. position, and uh, that's what they've been doing just uh, for years. And uh, you, would think, you would think in the Bears' case, they would luck out and just draft a quarterback, and, and uh, after all these years, they would luck out and just draft a good quarterback, but they're so, <laughs> seems like they're home so hamstrung. Yeah, yeah, just by, that. yeah, yeah, by uh, uh, just like you say, just by coincidence, they pick a good quarterback. <laughs> but I don't know if they ever will, Mike. Huh? All right, Mike. Hey, thanks an awful lot, Mike. Say hi to Pete for me. Sounds good. I will do that. And uh, let's keep in touch, huh? Okay, we'll do, Don. Thanks. Right. You're welcome. Bye bye now. Sure. As Mike Sandrolini, a uh, great reporter. Uh, all right, folks. Uh, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. All right. Hi, everybody. This is the Donna Sports Don Figarelli telling you about one of our great sponsors, all right? Pyramid Pizzeria and Sports Bar. That's right, Pyramid Pizzeria and Sports Bar, Addison's favorite pizzeria at 236 West Lake Street in Addison. Phone number 630-458-0777. Hot, fast delivery. 2012 Addison Pizza by the Slice winner, yes, Best thin crust pizza, best sausage pizza, best pizza sauce. Late night delivery. Here's their hours, Sunday to Thursday, 10 at thir- ten a.m. to 11 a.m. That's 10.30. Friday and Saturday, 10.30 a.m. to 2 a.m. Be- minimum order, $10. Delivery charge only $2.50. Menu prices subject to change without notice. Dine-in, delivery, carry-out, catering. That's Pyramid Sports Bar and Pizzeria. www.pyramidclubaddison.com. Go there. Hi, everybody. Don Figarelli here, the Don of Sports. I want to tell you about some very interesting people that I know, a wonderful company that they have. Danny and Loretta Rosenmeyer. It's their 25th anniversary being in business and uh, in conjunction with ComEd. Okay, they do a lot of work for ComEd. 
They're bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting. In trend. Outperforming every day. They're located at 18202 West Union Road in Union, Illinois. 60180. Their website, www.intren.com. That's I-N-T-R-E-N. Outperforming every day. Loretta and Danny Rosemeyer. Loretta is the chief executive officer. Her mobile phone is 815-341-4535. That's Intren. 25th anniversary, bringing stewardship to the construction industry for 25 years and counting. A wonderful corporation. Thank you very much. All right. Y'all ready for this? Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the show. On the line with me now is Anthony D. Uh, from uh, Hustle. Hello, Anthony. Hey, what's going on, Don? How you? Well, well, we're doing, How you doing? good. We're doing good, Anthony. I tell you what, hustle and bustle, hustle and <laughs> 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 yes, it's sir. it's hustle and muscle, right, uh, Anthony? Yes, sir. Yeah. Tell the folks uh, a little bit about your your place there, Anthony. What what you do for people and uh, how you got started and uh, why they should stop in and see you. Well, yeah. First of, first off, thanks, thanks for having me on. Doc. Oh, you're welcome, man. Well, my name is Anthony Dostoy. I'm the owner here of Hustle Strength Performance in Addison. Mm-hmm. I work with kids as young as seven years old all the way through college, as well as busy moms and dads looking to get fit and in shape, um, and feel great and look great. Mm-hmm. Um, so I started off as a personal trainer in the area uh, for about four or five years, and I took the leap about a year ago, and I opened up my here in Addison, off Fullerton. Mm, okay. Uh, now you have a. Uh Different memberships, do you, Anthony? Like a uh, uh, weekly, monthly, yearly uh, for people uh, to stay fit. You know, how does that work? Well, you see, yeah, I have different options available depending on if you're an athlete or if you're an adult. Mm-hmm. There's, um, I have two time a week options. Uh-huh. And I have unlimited training options for uh, month month to month memberships and annual memberships. It's more just, you know, I want you, uh, people just to buy into the long term. Yeah, long term, long term results. It's, there's no quick fix here. There's yeah. no quick fix in the health industry. It's more just you know, long term, um, consistent, consistent results shows up. Yeah. Oh, sure. Now let me ask you this, Anthony. Say uh, a kid wants to play football for the Cowboys, you know, and he wants to get a little more speed. He's he's in the backfield. He he wants to you know see if he could gain a little more speed. What could you do for him? Oh, then he'd be coming into the right spot. Once you come into my doors, um, if you're an athlete, I'm going to do my best to get you stronger, get you faster. If you want to get faster, uh-huh. we first have to improve your strength. No matter how old you are, yeah. the faster the faster you want to be. I want the stronger and the stronger and more flexible you are as an athlete, mm-hmm. the faster you are going to be. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna focus on your body weight movements, imp- improve your mobility, improve your flexibility and you will become faster and stronger. Wow, that's great. All right, now that's for a running back. How about a, uh, uh, the guy wants to be a lineman? He tells you, oh, yeah, Mr. Anthony, I, I like to play tackle, you know. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, there's going to be guys like that, you know, they're, they're not as fast as whatever. Of course, uh, of what, course. What would you do? Well, I, first off, we, you know, it, it's like everything sticks to the same foundation when it works when we come, come with athletes. Okay. We get you stronger. We work with the body weight movement, and then, you know, as they progress in the program, uh-huh. we will we will throw more specific position specific things. If you're an athlete, like if you're a lineman, you're not you don't need to be running miles. Mm. Uh, linemen don't run miles. You know what I mean? <laughs> linemen, they do they do their they do their damage within the next within the next within like five yards the most. That's right. Tr- oh, line. I see. Yeah, so you're we right. Get you, we get you stronger. We get you more explosive according to your position. Oh. All right, we're not, if you're a lineman, you want to be you want to train to be a lineman. You don't need to be training like a soccer player. <laughs> That's it, right. It, it, but, yeah, but you but you help all athletes, do you not? Athlete? I mean, you know yeah. what I mean. You it doesn't have to be just football. I mean, if a oh, guy's no. a, if a guy's a track guy or a baseball player, right? You can help them. Yes, we have kids. We have kids here that play basketball. We have kids here that play football. We have we have girls softball teams, youth baseball teams. In addition to the football pro football training that we offer here. Wow, Jeez, that's great, Anthony. I tell yeah. you that. Uh, and now, give give them your hours, Anthony. Well, I have for my adult sessions. I have adult sessions five thirty in the morning, 
eight thirty in the morning wow. and nine thirty in the morning, and then a six p.m. session for adults. Mm. My 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 athlete sessions are Monday through Friday, four p.m. and five p.m. and then seven p.m. Okay. So and then we offer uh, Saturday morning sessions. There's an eight a.m. adult session and then a ten a.m. athlete session. So wow. there are times there are times available throughout the week to fit any person's schedule any person or athlete schedule. Yeah. And I understand everybody's busy nowadays, so my schedule is made to accommodate everybody. Oh, it's your, oh wow, it sounds great. And I'll tell you what, one more thing, then I'll let you go. Uh, I bumped into Mike Capizano the other okay. day. <laughs> he said, oh, yeah, Anthony T., my son and his uh, son are like the sons, you know, brothers yeah. and stuff. <laughs> so listen. Mr. Capizano. Mr. Kevin Zano is like my second dad. Yeah, I grew up with him. <laughs> yeah, I love him. Yeah, great guy. You know what? Uh, yeah. I, I wanted him to come on the show with you, Anthony, if that's okay, you know. Uh, oh, yeah, that'd be great. On February 8th when we do the interview on TV. Oh, is yes. It, no, is it, no doubt about it. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Absolutely. All right, good. I'll tell you one more thing. Give him that phone number, Anthony, and then I'll let you go. Yeah, guys, my number is 630 Again, my name is Anthony Dostache. I am the owner of Hustle Strength and Performance here, right here at 1020 West Fullerton in Addison. And I'll tell you what, the hardest part about fitness is showing up, all right? Hell, when that's you, right. When you, come, when, you come, when you come into my facility, showing up is the hardest part. I'll take it from there. The program, everything else will be easy, all right? Showing up is the hardest part. We'll take it from there. Oh, great, Anthony. All right, buddy. I'll get back to you soon, all right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right. Take care. All right, Bye-bye. folks, we'll take a break, and we'll be right back. Everybody, the Donna Sports here. Hey, you guys, it's time to get out and golf. The DuPage County Forest Preserve courses are open. Maple Meadows at 272 Addison Road in Wooddale. It's a lynx type course that is in great shape and no trees to hit. That's what a lynx type course is, not many trees. Oak Meadows at 900 North Wooddale Road in Addison is a traditional course with trees, beautiful flowers, and not many sand traps. And the price is reasonable. And get this, it has the longest bar in DuPage County for the 19th hole. And Green Meadows on 63rd and Westmont, a shorter course that is in great shape also. All of these courses are waiting for you at reasonable prices. Call Oak Meadows at 630-595-0071 and make your tea time. America is one of the largest financial services marketing organizations in the nation with approximately 95,000 licensed independent representatives. Primerica is an industry leader in financial services. I'm Mike Figarelli, an independent representative and senior vice president in the Bensonville area, and the company's goal is to help ordinary families prepare for their financial futures. We've shown many local families how to do just that, and we are prepared to grow locally by providing people with financial solutions as well as a great business opportunity. As an independent representative with Primerica, you can build a business of your own, part-time or full-time. To learn more about the Primerica business opportunity, call me, Mike Figarelli, at 630-860-0033. Again, that's 630-860-0033. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, on the line with you now is my friend Byron Maxwell. Byron. How are you? All right, buddy. I won't take t- too much of your time. I know you got to get out on that golf course. But what I need is a prediction from you on the Super Bowl. I need the prediction, the score, who's going to win. You might win a T-shirt. Who do you think's going to win between the Patriots? Well, i got to say New England. I'm pulling for, for Atlanta. Yeah. I gotta say, New England. Well, I know what you. You're exactly that's exactly what I said too. You know, I'm pulling for Atlanta, but how the hell are you gonna beat Brady? You can't beat that guy. That man could be anywhere, surrounded by players, what have you. He'll find somebody open every time. <laughs> what? He's, he's one fine quarterback. You know. <laughs> when are our Bears gonna be like that? <laughs> when they... Well, never, <laughs> never. <laughs> Till the McCaskies sell it, huh? <laughs> no. What are you going to do? Yeah. The McGaskin family owns them? Yeah. As long as they own them, <laughs> they're never going anywhere. Well, no, no, all right, all right. Listen, give me a, give me the score if you can, the prediction. New England against the Falcon. What's it going to be? Yeah, 31-24. Okay, 31-24. 
Does Bobby want to make a prediction, or should we just forget that for now? No, she's out on the golf course. Oh, all right. Give her my love, will you? All right. And my and, love to everybody there. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Talk to you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Do one more, and then uh, I'm going to get going. Try Don Ortel. Hey folks, if you get a chance, get over to J.D. Muggs Bar and Grill, located at 437 North Addison Road in Addison, Illinois. 33 different kinds of beer, can you imagine that? It's the home of the He-Man Burger, and baby, that is a He-Man Burger. Wait till you see the size of that burger. Chicken Caesar Salad, which is one of my favorites. It's a friendly atmosphere. There's karaoke on Wednesday night, and a great DJ on Fridays. Call Dean at 630-833-2570. Hi, my name is Tom Sims. I'm the owner of Fox Bowl. We are Fox Bowl Training Center and Pro Shop. We set ourselves apart because we emphasize instructions. We have a full-time bowling instructor, Greg Zika. We have instant replay, videotape each bowler. Another program that we have is our Youth Bowling, USA Bowling. It's an eight-week program after school type of thing. It's eight weeks for $88 with instructions, and every child gets a free bowling ball, a $75 value. And thank Thank you from Fox Bowl. Y'all ready for this? Hello, Jack. Hello. Hello Doc. there. Hello there, buddy. How are you feeling today? What's new? Well, uh, I feel a lot better, Jack. I got rid of that flu, and I'm on. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I'm on my way back now. You know, and uh -huh. uh, had to do the show here. And uh, we tried calling you earlier, but uh, you yeah, were... I know I saw that, and, th and then I was trying to call you, and uh, and then the doctor's office called me. Oh boy! I got to go in for a test today, anyway, so I oh, got to study. Oh, you do? <laughs> oh boy! All right. Well, let's hope it's okay. Uh, yeah. Jack, uh, I won't take up too much of your time uh, no right, me. right now because uh, I'm be ending the show here pretty soon. But anyway, Jack, I need a prediction from you on this Super Bowl score. Um, hmm. no. uh, do they have anybody, Vegas have anybody favored in this? Well, New England? yeah, New England's, probably, huh? yeah, New England's favored by three and a half points. And uh, most people I talk no, to. No, New England 31. Uh, yeah. Uh, and I'll have. Uh, the Falcons. Uh, 21, 31, 21. <laughs> yeah, that's about right, you know. Let's yeah. see, what did I pick? Uh, uh. No, I haven't picked mine yet. <laughs> I haven't picked mine yet, but there's a couple that are pretty close to you, you know, yeah. on that score. But most yeah. people are picking New England, you know. Yeah. How can you beat Tom Brady? You know, a good, well, nice, a nice little Irish boy. Well, there's a guy named Ryan going against him. Yeah, so. that, that's right. It's another <laughs> another Irish. You got the Ryans and the Brady. <laughs> yeah. I I tell you, I I hope uh, Atlanta wins. You know. Not that I don't like the Patriots, but I... I know, I, I know what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, you know, sure. give them a chance, you know. Uh, to, uh, they it's been, like uh, the Brady Bunch against Ryan's Hope. <laughs> <How's that? laughs> yeah, hey, that's pretty good, Jack. I yeah. like that. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, no, I know what I'm going to tell you, too. Now, keep in mind, Jack, around April something, okay, uh, yeah. Johnny is having uh, his banquet, you know, for the National Fitness Hall of yeah, Fame. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and uh, maybe you and uh, your bride could come or one of your buddies. Uh, yeah. He's got like a two-for-one deal going where you, two events in one, you know. Uh -huh. uh, but it's not. It's near April 20, blah, 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 you know. But I'll get you more specific. Yeah. Uh, you, w you won't be in California or Florida, would you? You're not. I have no idea, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Talk to my, 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 the front office here. Uh, all right, but I'll keep you uh, yeah. uh, informed on that. All right, so keep that in the back sure. of your mind, will you, Jack? Yeah, that's like I see now. I I, I know. Um, I know that this can accept change of subject a little bit. Like uh, this past year, I didn't realize. And, you know, I missed me that uh, Buddy Ryan had died. Did you know that? Well, yeah, I think I heard that, Jack. I know, I know how I missed that one. Yeah. 
No, I, 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 yeah, I had a, a, a while back, a couple months ago or something. In June, yeah, it was June. Yeah, yeah, no, I had heard that, but you you hadn't heard that, huh? How did I, how did I miss that, y'all? Yeah, I know, we're listening to radio and stuff yeah. and that, but, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, he passed away down there somewhere, yeah. Kentucky or something or whatever. I don't know where he was. Yeah, uh, but he was uh, anyway. he retired, you know, that's too bad, it, you know. He was, um, and, 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 and remember, we had... Billy Wade from Vanderbilt, the same time Rudy Bukitz from USC. Yeah. We call him Rudy the Rifle. That's right. Well, if you look up their biographies, they both died within a short period of each other, and they were both born within a short period of each other. Really? Re- it's really Ru- weird. Yeah, Rudy, Bu- uh, Rudy Bukic and uh, who? Uh, Billy Wade. Oh, and Billy Wade, yeah, that's right. Yeah. High number, to- number 10. Yeah, high top shoes, right? <laughs> I don't remember if you had that or not. Yeah, he used to wear high top shoes, you know. Oh, so did Unitas. Yeah, that's right. You know, nice short passes, twelve, fourteen yard passes, but they were good, right? They yeah. won. They don't have to oh. bomb it way well, down. You could shed the rifle too, remember? Yeah, right. Those guys remember were good. The, the, the sixty-five season, the Bears almost had a three-way tie for first place in their division with Green Bay and Baltimore. Oh, is that right? Well, yeah, that was the, the that was rookie year for Buckus and Sayers. Yeah, oh, they did. Yeah. Gordon, Jimmy Jones, Ralph Curick, Brian Piccolo. Man, oh man, he can you can come up with them names, yeah. buddy. Good for you. I remember that team very well, you know. Uh huh. Yeah, they, some teams like stand out in your mind, like of course your '69 Cubs. Yeah. They didn't win it, but they own you know. Yeah, uh, they had a lot of seven White Sox. So yeah, it was important in their rebirth. That's the 1990 right. White Sox were important in their rebirth, you know. So mm-hmm. yeah, you're uh, right. When was you know, so the teams like that, but. Uh, when was it's a shame that they couldn't have t- won, won, won it with those guys, you know, the guys they had there. Was... Yeah, well, they came close, Jack. Yeah. Yeah, that that's, um, at least they were trying, you know, they were out I remember there. Uh, we're out there, uh, in the 65 Bears team, they're in playing in Yankee Stadium against the Giants. Mm-hmm. They scored three times in the first two possessions. They had one call back. Oh. Like, they were just, you know. <laughs> they were, they were, they were, you know, uh, electric, and they were. Uh, Is that super. right? That's great that you can have that kind of a memory where you can yeah. remember specific things. You know, uh, mm-hmm. I, I'm going to call you when I uh, want to be reminded of the the fog game or something. Wasn't there a fog game at Soldier Field? Well, yeah, just there's a uh, um, the Fog Bowl. Yeah, yeah. I just watched something about that. Oh yeah, the yeah. Bears, uh, it was, I think it's on the ESPN uh, local channel. Oh, really? A special program. Yeah. Uh, I think Dick Buckus narrates it, too. Is, there, is that 30 for 30, that that program? Boy, that's a great program. Oh, yeah, it was all about... <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. They said the weather the weather conditions had to be just perfect <laughs> to happen. And the fact it came in, it stuck, and it left. It was, <laughs> like, it was like... Someone said it was like... The, heaven was interfering with this game. Yeah. You remember they were playing? <laughs> At Soldier they were Field, in Philadelphia. Oh yeah, the Eagles. By Buddy Ryan. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're yeah. right. See that the trivia stuff. That's right. Yeah. All right, Jack. Hey, thanks a lot, buddy, hey. and keep uh, keep healthy, huh? You too. And uh, talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. All right. Uh, one more call, Johnny, and uh, give Don our call. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I'd like you to go over to Addison Advantage of Addison, a car care center. Why? Because they have a free inspection for your brakes, your exhaust, your struts, your struts, your shaft, ball joints, radiators, water pumps, timing belts, tires, wheel bearings. You realize yeah, there are that many things that would be done on a car? Hey, <laughs> it's all called uh, preventive maintenance, that, right? That's absolutely and, right. Know, yeah, it's absolutely right. You yeah. can't be too safe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, get in there and and but if you do need some things, there's a twenty dollar bonus voucher for any service over two fifty, which you know that twenty save you twenty bucks, and a five dollar bonus voucher. I keep saying voucher, voucher five dollars off any service over thirty dollars. That'd be easy to do. An oil change would be that. You'd get five dollars off. They're located at eight eighty five Lake Street in Addison. They're open Monday through Friday, eight to six, on Saturday from eight to three. Give Dominic or Leon a call at 630-543-1397. All right, that's Auto Advantage of Addison Car Care Center. Great guys. They have the best warranty around and the longest warranty around. 
uh, brakes seventy dollars off on a on a brake job with a four wheel lifetime warranty. Can you imagine that? Mm. And a one year warranty on all labor that they do. Uh, all work comes with a warranty. So if you need uh, your oil change, you need transmission, you need f uh, flush, a front end work, fuel pumps, whatever whatever you can think of on your car, go over to Addison Advantage uh, of Addison at eight eighty five Lake Street in Addison. Call Dominic or Leon six three zero five four three one three nine seven. Hi everybody, uh, Don Figarelli here, the Donna Sport. Want to tell you about a new sponsor uh, we got recently, uh, the Addison Park District. Okay, uh, now the website is addisonparkdistrict.com in small letters. All right. And the phone number is 1-630-233-7275. Now, let me just read you uh, some of the things from their brochure. You know, there's a summer brochure, a fall brochure, a uh, spring brochure. Stop in at 120 uh, Oak in uh, Addison. You could uh, get the brochure. I'm going to read off some of the things that they offer, but... You know, I, I I can't do it all, but I'm going to give you some highlights. Like at Club Fitness, all right? They have uh, the uh, so many things you could do there. Personal training, uh, discounted uh, ad admission, and you know monthly fee, a yearly fee. They have a boot camp, uh, personal training, kettleball basics, the uh, zombie boot camp, diabetes prevention. Uh, stroller stride. I'm just. There's so many things you could do. Adult intermediate swim, adult uh, swim lessons, private swim lessons, parent tot, uh, water explorers, tadpoles, minnows, seahorses. Wow, you could do so many things there at that club fitness. And then of course they have uh, links. These are only two of the things. There's many, many other things you could do at the Addison Park District. Links and tees, golf facilities. Wow, they have group golf outings, birthday parties, golf leagues, summer junior golf, clubhouse uh, available, uh, foot golf. You know, with football, it's like soccer. You kick a ball into a into a big hole. It's like soccer, but it's golf combination. Uh, junior programs, snag program for youngsters, miniature golf, outdoor training for golf, putter's peak. Yeah, you could play miniature golf there. It's a beautiful facility. It's a big putter's peak. It's a big mountain. Uh, and birthday parties all at the Addison Park District. Please go to the website addisonparks.com or call them. One six three zero two three three seven two seven five. The Addison Park District, the greatest. All right, Johnny. Y'all ready for this? All right, folks. Hope you enjoyed the show. Wow, we had a lot of uh, callers today, and uh, it was great to hear from Jack Ryan, from Anthony D at Hustle and Muscle, uh, Tom Michael, Jeff Trusco. Uh, Mike Sandralini and uh, Colleen from Triton College. <laughs> All right, uh, folks, thanks for listening to the show, and let's keep in touch, huh? Take care now. Bye bye. <laughs> You have been listening to the Don of Sports with Don Figarelli from the John DeVita Broadcast Center on the Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network. Remember to watch the Don of Sports with Don Figarelli every Thursday evening at 8.30 p.m. on Comcast Cable Channel number 19. The Don of Sports was directed by John DeVita. Our special thanks to the executive producer of Windy City Hometown Entertainment Network, Mr. John Chaconda. This program was pre-recorded on Wednesday, January the 25th, the year 2017. Until next time, thanks, be safe, and take care.